Welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we would learn how to compile and run a Hadoop program. We would be working on Ubuntu, which we installed in our VM. First, we would download the Eclipse setup. I'll Google search on download Eclipse. And click on the first link. Then we would click on the link Linux for 64 bits. And then the next link. And then we would save the file. The download would take some time so I'll forward the video. Now the Eclipse setup has been downloaded. I'll just go to the download section, copy it and paste it in the home folder. Now I'll extract the Eclipse here itself by right clicking and clicking on extract here. Now we see the Eclipse folder in the home directory. Then I'll go inside and click on Eclipse icon. This would launch the Eclipse ID. Then we'll get this pop-up window asking for the creation on this workspace. I'll stick to the default and click OK. Then I'll go to File, New and click on Java Project. I'll name my project Hadoop Experiments. and click on finish. Now I have downloaded the source code in one folder. You can download it from the site. So I would select these .java programs, wordcon.java, wordcon.mapper.java and wordcon.reducer.java and copy paste it to workspace in the folder which we have created just now. I'll go to Hadoop experiments and then source folder. So now in my Eclipse ID, I see the source folder. I would just refresh it. And now under the default package, I see all the Java source code which I copied. At this time, you would see a lot of errors on these programs as we haven't included the Hadoop packages in our build path. So to clear the errors, we just need to right click on the project Hadoop experiments in this case, then go to the properties, then go to the Java build path, then to libraries, then click on add external jars and then go to Hadoop folder and click on Hadoop core.jar. Click OK and then you would see that the external jar Hadoop core has been included. Click on OK. And all your errors would go away. Next step is to create a jar file. Again, we would right click on our project folder. Then go to the export option and then under Java, you would see the jar file option. Select that and click on next. Then browse through the path. I would put the jar file in the bin folder itself. You can of course select any path. 
then I'll just type in the name word count and click on OK. And then click finish. Then let us look at the jar file. I'm right now in the bin folder itself where I have created the jar file. So I'll just do an ls. And here we see the word count.jar. We'll just do an ls on our Hadoop file system. There we see the in file. I had created that file just before this video. I'll just output the content of that file. So, and so here you see the output. So being in this folder where the jar file is, I would run the command jar file by using the command Hadoop jar word count dot jar word count in and out. Out would be the output directory and in would be the input file. We would learn about all this later in the course. And the program should run as you see on the screen. Now we would do an ls on the Hadoop file system and see if the out directory has been created or not. There we see the out directory. And now let us just do an ls on out. There we see all the associated files. The file starting with the part contains the output. Let us cat that file and print the contents of that file. And so here we see the output. This course would cover every details of how this complete process has been done. What was the objective of the program and what is the output and how has it processed and how to increase the efficiency of it, it all would be covered in the course. So if you are able to run the program, it's great. You've completed the hard part of this course. Everything after this is going to be simpler. And my heartiest congratulations to finish the hard part of it. See you in the next class.